<laughs> at Tech Home Solutions, we've been using iPads and iPhones to control uh, the home, either walking around in the home or away when you travel. Uh, now we're starting to use them as well as a whole home keypad in the house. Instead of using a standard keypad, we now put an iPad on the wall and use it for control. Uh, this shows you can simply remove the bezel, eject the iPad from the bezel. And this is only plugged in so that you have power to the iPad so it doesn't, uh, the battery doesn't run out on you. So just as a quick demonstration on how this works, it's similar to all our other uh, control systems. Um, I'll just go through a few, a few of the uh, key features. So this is all, again, customizable to each home that we do. Um, so in this particular house, we have certain activities that are fairly standard, so a welcome home activity away. Uh, good morning, good night, that sort of thing. So when you when you push any of those buttons, certain things happen to the home and goes into away mode if you hit away and, and that sort of thing. Lights come on at different times and TV comes on and temperature goes to an economical level. On top of that, uh, if we go through some of the features here, we can see we can control lights in the in the home. This is uh, the main floor in this particular home. This is the top floor. If we want to, we can see that right now this is where we are. Uh, the lights are on. Simply touch the room to turn them on and off. You can turn on a bunch of rooms at the same time here. Hallway. Let's go to the top floor. Turn on some rooms. And then we can see on the dimmers, these are all on. We can change them to different levels by simply dragging this. Or we can do, uh, let's turn the office back on here. Or we can do scenes. As you, let's turn main floor off, so that turns all the lights off on the main floor. Let's go back and turn kitchen on to a certain scene. Uh, breakfast scene, all off. As we're doing this, let's turn the office back on here. We can also see uh, the lights change here as well. This is the top floor. Let's go back to the bottom floor so we can see all these lights have now turned on. We can either turn them off individually or let's turn a bunch on here. Or if you just want to see the quick status of your, your home, this is a, an easy way to do it. You just hit lights. Oh, sorry, that's climate. We hit lights, and then we can see what's on. We can see there's a bunch of lights on in the main floor, and there's a bunch of lights left on upstairs. We can just simply tap them to turn them off, which is handy. And then on, on this page, we also have the same sort of scenes, so you'll see the lights turn on and off as we do them. So that covers lights. Um, climate, if we go into climate control, it's pretty basic. Uh, it can be more, uh, you can you can do uh, all the scheduling and stuff in here as well, but I'll just show you the basic aspects of it right now. So this is uh, just simply turning heat up and down. If you switch it to cool, you can change the cool temperature up and down as well for air conditioning. This also has uh, lighting scenes just because there's enough room on the page here. So we put lighting scenes at the bottom as well. Same thing with uh, status, so if I push the status, it kind of gives you an overview of what's actually turned on in the home. There's nothing turned on right now. Uh, let's just turn something on quickly. Um, radio. Then if we go to status here, this will show the living room power is on. If we had anything on in the home, it would all show up here. So we can quickly show here what the temperature is set to, what the outdoor temperature is, what lights are on. And then we can simply, if we want to turn the living room off, just simply push that, turns the living room off completely. Uh, same thing with lights. Turn lights on and off, obviously, from here. Weather's pretty straightforward. Shows the weather. Uh, home page. So if we, we uh, want to do any activities in the home for audio video, this is all you need to do is select, let's say, office. And let's turn some music on in the office. Now if we want to also turn this same music on in a different room, let's say the living room, simply push that button. Let's also turn it on in the ensuite. So now in order to show you that this is on, we can simply push power. We can see there's 
audio video on here, living room, also in the ensuite upstairs. If we want to change volume in different rooms, select office to change volume here. And then let's turn the volume up in the living room. Should be able to hear that turning up hopefully on the video. And then if we want to again see what's on, outside lights on, uh, simply tap it. It'll turn it off in the living room. Let's turn it off upstairs as well. And then let's go back to office and turn the volume up in the office. So you can control, uh, this is actually playing through Sonos. We can control it from here. Another feature, another nice feature of the iPad being a keypad is that we can also use apps. So if we want to switch to the Sonos app, we can pull it up here and, and operate Sonos completely independently of the uh, control. So we can go to a service like RDO. Let's go uh, just going to find something there. There's a lot you can do with Sonos. It's a whole another, uh, whole another topic. I don't know what this is, but it's as easy it is to play. We can search for any any artist and stream it from here as well. And then if we want to go back to the control, so the same aspect for that's just music but we can do the same thing we can turn uh, let's say living room Apple TV on and now we're controlling the Apple TV in the living room TV's turning on right now uh, so all these activities we can have any number of activities that we want here so that's a basic quick overview of using an iPad for home control in the wall you can obviously, uh, as per the other videos that we've we've put up, we can take the iPad on the road with us and do all these same features with you, with it as you can with it in the wall. Obviously, right now it's on Wi-Fi. But if we switch this off, it would go to 3G and uh, operate just the same way that it is now with a slight lag.